Don't even know. Hold on, let me capture it real quick. It sounds familiar, though. If you want to focus the story, being a fishing ghost hunter. If you're looking for tense encounters and want to focus on quick thinking and skilled movement. I think I'll just do the story. <laughs> uh, I'm a gamer. I am a ghost hunter. I've been sent to investigate oh, yeah, a like constructed this. shopping mall along Road 45. The construction company, of course, wanted to keep this off the books. It's a cool so presentation. To conduct my investigation at night. I gotta drink some fucking me coffee. Unusual work Excuse me a second. The job. After a long trip here, I'm eager to see what stories this place holds for me. Taking pictures. Taking pictures of things. Whoa! Good God, that was loud. Hold aim, camera, defaults. Press interact to capture a ghost when the reticle is red. Interact to continue. Hello? Oh, it's like, it's like a fail frame game. The picture sound is so intense, though. You dampen that a little bit? I'll just turn it down. Maybe it's just my headphones. Oh, now there's no sound. That's much better for me. A million times better. Never mind. Maybe it was just me. Oh, the abandoned mall? Or uh, coming soon mall. That funky jam. The music reminds me of the humble burger barn. Uh, musician. And like a bunch of like really funky songs, big bass. Uh, is that a ghost? Photograph a spectral memory to enter it. Are we going back? He's gonna take you back to the past. To take some pictures of spooky ghosts and weird gas. Yeah, I've uh, been seeing a lot of people tweet about this for a while. I've been looking forward to checking this out. And yeah, I've watched a bunch of Dan Bell videos. I like Dan Bell. Ooh. I'm not a big Fatal Frame fan, actually. Uh, I don't want to say I hate them, but I've tried to play a few times and I've just never really like gotten really I got stuck in the first game honestly on stream Like one of one of the first streams I ever did it Was fatal frame two uh, one and I like got my ass kicked Yeah, not one of the first streams I ever did, but it was like 2015 And I tried to play the second one, too, and I just kind of know. I can't get into it. Note to Mr. Bent. Bent. The key to the control room is hidden behind the warning sign, as usual. Dude. Thank you. Like, I like the setting, but I just can't... I don't know. The gameplay fucking drives me nuts. The ghosts are legit scary in Fatal Frame 2. I like the ghosts. Maybe another another time I'll give them a try. I just it got it like had a really bad entry for me. I don't want to completely write them off. Who the fuck is that? Candlehead?
Yeah, it, Fatal Frame is a lot of fan service too, a lot of ghost girls stuff, but and it's legit. It has like some cool stories to it. It has a lot of like uh, like yokai, Japanese ghost story stuff. That's really interesting actually, but uh, you have to be kind of patient with the gameplay. Some people really like it. Like I said, I got stuck in the first one. Like I got stuck on a ghost that was really hard and I like ran out of film. And I was like, well, fuck this. Yeah, I played Siren a little bit. Again, another one that's pretty tough. But uh, if you can stick with it, people really do like it. Am I just gonna jump over this? Run and jump! Nope. No jump. <laughs> if we go up. Oh, I see. I have that goddamn Breath of Fire song stuck in my head now, yeah. Man dying picture. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't mean to. Oh! Oh, right, the note said to check behind the picture. Like, what is up with this guy? Oh! Shot his fucking face at me. Sorry, Stig. I used the key, but hid it under the table for you. Can I just like walk on this? I wonder if I could walk on that part. <laughs> oh. Unless I missed it. Under the table in the in the hut. Under this table? Oh, yeah. Imagine if you could do that, if you could have walked on that little piece of fence there. Oh, dude, look at him sideways. He didn't even fucking see me. An idiot. Ba -da -da -ba -bum. Pran. I like this. It's cool. It's cool. Excuse me. Hmm. I guess I could actually, uh, I see a few different ways I could do this. I could climb on this. And jump over. I wonder if you could move the uh, thing all the way over here. Oh! Jesus. Where is it? Another one? Did he get me? Oh, God. Dude, that's fucking weird. He throws his face at you. I don't have a lot of range on this camera. Crafty fellow. Yeah, that's a good. I like the the shooting of the ghosts with the pictures this way in, F, in first person. Ah! There's something to it. I enjoy. I need like a fucking machine gun camera though. I need a fucking iPhone. If there's fall damage. Some kind of transformer. Thrown faces, man. A fuse. It's pretty clean too, like, uh, it all looks good. My only complaint is the bobbing a little bit, maybe? Maybe we can turn that off. Oh, we're gonna like low-ass resolution. 
It kind of it like suits it though in a lot of ways. Let's check something else out though. Let's try that. No view, Bob. I'm playing on easy mode too, and those guys are like fairly challenging. What do you think? Do you like that more? I think that looks better now that he's not swinging it around. He's running it is a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that more. Maybe like open that. The bobs? The bobs are on. Bob stay on during the stream. Oh, he's got a little flashlight, too. Yeah. Start the generator, open the choke. Sometimes you need to jump on it two to three times before you pull the handle. Pull the starting handle, close the choke. PS, fix the circuit in the third penstock chamber stig. It's not that dangerous. The choke, I'm gonna pump out the handle over on the handle. Jump on it literally. <laughs> Don't jump on the machinery. I thought I was going to have to like fix the circuit in the third penstock chamber. It's not that dangerous. Yo, their faces look fucking... Like, what is the face? Whose face is that? Ow! was like, yeah, I'll be your, uh, your ghost face. Another one. I tried to fix the wiring like he told me, and I fell. It's cold here. Oh no. This all started after my grandmother died. I was the only one she could communicate with, and we talked a lot, became closer than we ever were when she was alive. After a while though, she told me where to find her old camera. This one. Turns out she'd been a ghost hunter as well, and wanted me to continue her legacy. I was instructed how it worked, and it was our last goodbye. She was the first spirit I photographed. No, yeah, that's kind of sick. It sounds like a good young adult fiction series. Like, instead of Harry Potter, it's like Harry Potter with the camera taking pictures of dead people. Like, Bruce Willis is there. That'd be a good story. That is my, like, dream millionaire, uh, ticket, is to write, like, 
a new Harry Potter series. And then I just sit around and make shit up and become a billionaire. But also I'm not an asshole. My name is Dr. Everest Mossberg. I've researched folklore most of my life and no place has before fascinated me as much as this. Tales from all over the country seem to converge here, with experiences ranging from almost a millennia ago until today. Following the following are excerpts from my research that I may deem relevant for this place. May this reading interest you as much as it did me, but be careful. Some of these beings have a stronger presence here than anywhere else. Yeah, I'll just like steal Star Wars. Contents. Ghast. Earbloss. Witch Hunts. Sacrifice. Church Grim. Miling. Conclusion. Can I actually read that? Oh, again. How do I... It, 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 like, it turned the page, but I don't know how to. Oh, you go that. Okay, 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 okay. Hit the hit A. Recreate the photo on the right to unlock this entry. Is like a tree? Is, this, is that here? That is. You can always access that from there. It's like a tree. It's right here. Oh, it's that tree. Right? Yeah, like three lanes. Are you seeing are you seeing this tree? It's like right here, right? The ball is not in the picture, so it's like right like this. Like this. Maybe back a little bit more. No, the ball is not in the picture though. This fucking ball, man. Ah, there's like a string kind of in the picture. That'd be like right here. It's like this. It's like this. It was like that. No, 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 it's like this. Here it is. Got it! The ghast. The strangast. Water. A source of both life and misery. Drowning was an all too common cause of death before swimming was common knowledge. Stories tell about the cold wind carrying whispers from bodies floating back up on the shore, begging to be buried on consecrated ground. Sometimes these displaced souls would lash out at those passing by. Many coastlines, isles, and rivers were not only feared because of the dangers of water, but for those consumed by it. Swimming wasn't common knowledge, yeah. You had to, like, read a book about it. You know what I mean? Strangast. What do you think? Is this here? Is there a mill out there? Yo, this mall is fucking sick. Hitting me? Hitting me with this shit? Yeah, humans are born with the instinct to swim. You could just drop babies in water and they're fine. We have these little sacks behind our ears that inflate. We lose them over time, though. Yeah, I don't think that house is here.
PlayStation Home? What the fuck one was PlayStation Home? So I'll make sure there's something I'm missing here. This is where I started, I think. <gasps> no! I did not mean to do that. I think we're good. Ba -da -ba -boom. Oops. So what, do we just go back? He has three. It doesn't seem like it, though. It keeps going after you let go. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da. Oh, something did open up. Because that fuse isn't there anymore. Maybe you have to kill everything here before the fuse comes out. I wonder what the difference is when you put on the other difficulty, like if the enemies just take more hits or something like that. There's like, his ammo and stuff, maybe. That it did, that it did. I kind of wanted to see if I missed something down here anyways, though, honestly. One, two, three, one. Open the choke. Oh, I didn't jump on it first. Then you do. Then you close it. Ah. It'd be cool if you could kill everything in the, in the sight in one shot. That killed both those guys. Oh no. Yeah, that guest. I want to learn about the candle, man. So that door actually is the only one that opened. Okay. I thought I saw something else over here. Nope. Nothing else. So cold. <laughs> the camera side does seem to be dampened a bit. This all started after my grandmother died. Okay. I was the only one she could that communicate with. Before, so this we is talked new. a lot, became closer than we ever were when she was alive. Oh, after there a is a guy up there. I didn't she see told him. me where to find her old camera. This one. This Turns one. Turns out she'd been a ghost hunter as well, and wanted me to continue her legacy. I was instructed how it worked, and it was a lost goodbye. She was the first spirit I photographed. I don't think I saw that barn in the other area. Must be in this one. Oh, we go back now. We go back. 1607? But cameras? Oh, here it is. Literally, here it is. In the first shot, man. Lichtrugguba, Irblos. Over many centuries, people have reported sightings of unsourced lights floating mysteriously through neglected whereabouts. 
There have been many explanations. A local favorite refers to them as Lightgoba, Lictgoba, Jack-o'-lantern. Spectral orbs thought to be the spirits of dead surveyors, observing old roads and brooks, or farmers patrolling the borders of their once reverently fallowed fields. They could be both benevolent or malicious, either leading you home to safety or astray into the unknown spaces of night. Keep an eye out for that. Is there a moon? All right, there's a moon and a lantern. I think this is literally, is this it right here? No, it's gonna be, it's like a window out of here. It's out that window. How are we up there? <gasps> you! I died in the plague! I was killed fighting a war! I drowned in a river! I was executed for sorcery! I died giving birth. I was struck by lightning. What's that? One person here died for conspiring with the devil. Their key is buried above their grave. The devil, huh? Of course it was a sorcerer, right? Yeah. You have chosen wise up. <laughs> Jesus. No. Oh. Fucking snuck up on me. Yes, push the cross down. Hmm. Crush yourself with the cross. Oh, there's a thing. Catch an item. Your penance is to crush yourself with a cross. Oh, there's another grave. I took my own life. Oh! Art. Um, I don't know. I thought tab was the inventory. I know that's for the hub. Maybe there's something in the pews. Boom. This has got to be something to do with the cross. Oh, maybe it moves something outside. Ghosts everywhere out here now. Hmm. Uh, there is some stuff up there. Oh, yeah, 
maybe. Oh yeah. Rope. And there's like some knobs over here. There's some knobs over here. Huh? I guess they're nothing. They do kind of look weird though. Oh, it's the rope. I see. <laughs> of course, of course. It's all so obvious. Truly. Oh, you fucker, I didn't get a chance. Yeah, this guy's got some skills. I'm most certain she is a witch. She rarely shows her face around here, lives on her own, and some people even told me she turns into a black cat to spy on them. We need to do something about this. On another note, there are some strange vines growing down here, but they don't seem to like strange or strong light. Something like that. Excellent. No, oh, they're everywhere. Damn, I got like no health. It's pretty good. This is just the first game, but the hub in the first game have been pretty fun. That's anything to go by. There's so many. Maybe you just gotta run through there. Maybe if you, like, maybe it's like Doom, you just need to keep running. When they're all coming at you like that, it's pretty hard. Kind of just gotta keep moving, I guess. What? Oh. Um, left, right, right, straight. You can easily, you can easily get lost down here. Walk as the arrows say, and you'll be fine. I heard rumors about Anna being a witch. She lives past the mill, so be careful around there. We're gonna go left. Right. Right. But then straight? What? What? What is that last one? Jump? Really not. Walk through a wall. Like half? Oh, I guess just go. Meant just leave. Just leave, you dumb son of a bitch. Who the fuck else is out here? Huh? Kindle! Did 
just another candle begging for his life. Sure. Oh yeah, the moon, but it was from a window. Unless it's like, we're getting closer. I think it's from up there. I really think it's that window. Twisting that, that's twisting that. Shouldn't moving this? Why would that happen? Shouldn't that be making that move? If I apply this twisting gear, maybe I can move that one? Oh. Oh, I see. Back. Ah. There we go. There we go. Witch hunts. Since the Dark Ages, the act of ritual magic was deemed illegal. But as the legal system evolved, so did the elaborate sev severity, severity of the punishment. Severity? Severity? Severity. In Sweden, this culminated in th the 1600s. Several hundred were persecuted, sometimes resulting in torture and execution. Many diabolical tools were used, like the torture rack and the spiked necklace. If found guilty, they could be beheaded, hanged, and even burnt at the stake. Women were highly overrepresented in these cases and often had little to say in their defense. A questioning mind may wonder what recourse these hounded spirits seek. I don't think we've seen one of them yet. Progress, though. Now what? Hop down. Let's get in the wheel. Go for a ride. Whoa. I guess you really gotta get these guys first. The ghost men and then the face guys, because you can dodge those. Ow. Maybe not. I didn't want to harm anyone. I'm just different. Why couldn't they leave me alone? Gonna take you back to the past. Hunting is probably the wrong word if you think about it. A very specific flash and film type is needed to capture a ghost. But it isn't the spirit itself that's captured. It captures the negative emotions that keeps them here with us. It isn't really about defeating some malevolent force. It's about empathizing. Hey, at least we got these tunes, though. Am I right? Whoa.
Ja, jetzt kommen wir ins Hall. Yeah, let's explore into the mall. Sick, dude. Fall in. Hey. A little coffee machine. I love the aesthetic of coffee machines. I don't know what it is. I just love the way that shit looks. Always. But honestly, the best one I ever saw was when I was working at Amazon in a warehouse and uh, they had like a giant coffee machine and it was just like it had every drink you could ever want and it just like came out of a vending machine like that Amazon's a weird place oh there he is it smelled really bad in that break room too but what break room doesn't smell bad honestly Have you guys ever had a good break room before? Because I think they all suck. Everything I've ever had for a break room, unless it was like a really nice company. Like the break room was like, yeah, I'd rather not ever go in there. Fuck that place. Not time for coffee yet. Fuck the break room. Oh my god! 1350! Ye old pictures. Is there gonna be a troll? Yeah, the microwave always smells awful. It's just like, oh, oh, throw the microwave out, get rid of it. What the fuck, man? Like you spilled all their soup in there. Mixed it with some piss and shit. The fuck out of here. Yeah, it's the same fence. They were all the style for a long time. Oh, hello. I don't fucking think so, man. To Magistrate Magnus, the plague has gotten worse, and you know it. We've lost a third of our population. People should... people we know and love. Maybe we should give the old ways a chance. Oh, no, they're gonna summon him. If you get lost, remember, anthills are always placed south of the tree. They are close. Oh, good. I, I didn't know that. I'm glad they know that now. W what anthills are there in the middle of the winter? Excuse me? You didn't have ants in Sweden? Wherever the fuck we are? Big ones, really? Gross. All right, well, looking for some ants. Ants actually didn't exist until a couple years ago. Yeah. Oh, here's the picture, I think. The ring. What's this right here? Aha! Sacrifices. During the Dark Ages, burying live animals was one of the shocking methods practiced in attempts to prevent the bubonic plague from spreading. During the Iron Age, it was much more common, and from time to time, even human sacrifice was deemed necessary. At least once, this tradition supposedly resurfaced during the plague, yielding a hor horrifying account. Cr a crown? Becoming Scooby-Doo now? Uh, a rural village was especially tormented by the plague, was visited by a starving child. In a desperate attempt to expel the disease, they dug a narrow pit and lured the child in with a sandwich. As they started to fill it, the child cried, What are- why are you pouring dort- dort on my food? 
I pray such barbaric rituals are never again brought to practice. <clears throat> this story is weird. Me reading it like a moron didn't help. Did they even have sandwiches? Like more than 15 years ago. The right symbols will be found in three separate slabs in the forest. Press the symbols found on the slabs in the east, west, and south. Yeah. yeah, we didn't tame bread until well into the Middle Ages. We Before then, we just had wild bread that we had to, you know, if you wanted it. We didn't just have fields of wheat. The right symbols will be found in three separate slabs in the forest. Okay, I see, I see. Aha, so south, ant hill. It's an ant hill. Where are the slabs? Return the slab. I'm so used to that being just like an invisible wall when I try to go through a tree like that. So, skull face, or weird face, facing south, ant hill. Where's the anthill? That's south. He's over there. Honestly, I don't know. <clears throat> Bull head. What else do we have? Last one. Rain cloud. So it looks like that's facing north. The other ones, I don't know. So how are you supposed to do this? Kind of looks like a baseball hat. Like how I used to draw hats when I was a kid. You see it? Like that's how I used to draw like hats on stick figures. <clears throat> the right symbols will be found in three separate slabs in the forest. Press the symbols found in the slabs in the east. Oh, doesn't have to be in any certain order. Okay. You just had to have found them. That's easy enough. I think at least. No? Maybe there is more. And the ones I found are not east, west, and south. How did I, like, fuck up the order somehow? I see. But there, it just reset it probably then, hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe there is an order. Sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm stuck. I think I'm just trying to figure out this puzzle. I think maybe there might be another slab too. Otherwise, why would they even give you the directions? Because it wouldn't matter then. 
Is this different? This is where I came from. But uh boom. Nah, I don't think you need to take a picture of anything. Unless there's another. Oh yeah, there was a fucking What's this one? Maybe? Kirk Kirk Gurimin. The Church Grim. When building churches in the days of old, superstitious architects would occasionally wall in live animals during construction. These desecrated beasts were said or disassociated. Oh my god, I can't even say that word. I don't know why I would make it up desecrated, though. Also, now my computer's trying to restart. I'm batting like nothing with the breeding today. Hold on. Now OBS is all fucked up. Yeah, Windows is like, we couldn't restart to update your device at the scheduled time. It may have been off or in use or had low battery. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Restart now? No, what the hell are you doing, dude? All right. Um, ba, 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 ba. these beasts are said to become protective humanoid beings that would patrol the church grounds at night, warding off trespassers. While mostly known in southern Sweden and Denmark, this tale somehow seems to have made its way up here. I haven't seen one of those fellows. Also, what was that sound? Just like the fucking camera? Yeah, it's fucking 10. I've heard stories about summoning the church grim, about pressing the slabs, the stone circle in a certain order. I don't know much about it. I don't know much about that entity, but I know we shouldn't mess with it. Mention this Sunday. Is that all the symbols? Mm, I think we've seen that one. It's like the house. Oh my god. How? How do I have all these hands? I am evolving. <laughs> Alright, I think the other picture is over here. I think this one. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Miling. Miling? Such a terrible thing. Hold on a second, I can clear my throat. Such a terrible thing. The ghost of an infant killed by their mother. They are said to roam during the night, crying for proper burial. Burdened by the weight of its anguish, the Miling could become massive in size, sometimes as large as a pig. These hauntings will leap onto the back of those unlucky to cross their path. At this point, it may be too late for the victim, for even the wise who seek to free the spirit with holy soil may succumb to the ever-growing weight before arriving at the cemetery. Many claim the most fearsome of all ghosts to be a very, to be a vengeful miling, and I dare say I believe it. I got one more, I think. Whatever that is. All 
All right, back to the ant hill question. So that's south. So it has to go <clears throat> east, west, south. If that's south. Where is he? Then it should be directly on top of that one. So that's last. Rain is last. The other two. Bullhead. South. That could be west. I mean, there's only two other possibilities. Not that one, right? What the fuck? Am I wrong? Would that not be the south? on two and then do the sequence like just two random ones yeah I don't know hmm why the fuck Yeah, there's only so many different combos, right? I think I did them all. East, west, south. Maybe there's a number, not, not, like another symbol I didn't see. Oh, there's another fucking anthill here. Maybe pertinent information. There's the fucking steer head. Maybe that's south, actually. But then the way it's facing, though, isn't necessarily... That's south. Well, that could be last, actually, now that I think about it. Here's another one. Yeah, that has to be it. And there's the rain cloud. Unless there really is another slab that I'm not seeing, that would fucking... That would be it. Or maybe it's... Or... Oh my god. Literally like the last fucking thing. Can't believe I didn't try that. We have to go to church with them. Oh, the ghost baby. I don't know if I have to hit him or what. The little ghost baby's fucking scary.
no mercy. They were they were too scared of the plague. They thought it was better to give the Reaper what it wanted. I was given an offer. Back to the future. Ideally, our death is quick and painless, but history is full of the opposite. It's the bad intentions and tragic outcomes that really haunt the place. Kid. There are a lot of stories hiding in the dark corners of the earth. I've had the opportunity to witness oh my God, oh why I've only scratched the surface. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that we all want someone to take a moment and listen to us, even if we're dead. Well, I think it's time for a cup of good hot black coffee. Ghosts never sleep, do they? I don't know, do we? We don't know if ghosts sleep. We actually don't know anything about them, man. Maybe they do sleep. Maybe that's why they're mad. Maybe they just want to sleep. Two finger coffee. Statement. Yeah, that was great. I like that. I like how self-contained that was. I really enjoyed that, though. Wasn't really like trying to beat you over the head with anything. It's some good atmosphere. I'd say if anything, it wasn't really tied together well, but I liked it a lot. But uh, I would I would probably play like a full ga game of that with a couple different mechanics, like for the camera and stuff. It would be cool to like investigate like like different scenarios completely, I guess. Like I think it'd be cool to apply it to like a you know urban legend kind of thing in a different country. But yeah, I liked it. I wasn't I'm not in love with it either, but it was cool. It did feel a little bit slow, yeah. And some of it felt a little random, like this mall is weird. I mean, it makes sense, kind of, but I like it. But everything tied together is like, I don't know. But I definitely enjoyed my time with it. It's kind of abstract, I guess, like with all this bullshit, all this like weird industrial stuff. River. It's supposed to be like the mind, I guess, kind of. The tree of wisdom. I'm glad I played it though. It's cool. I liked it. I liked it. Let's do another one. I'm gonna go get a drink real quick, actually. I need some water. Uh, what do I wanna put on, on here? Yeah. We'll be right back. So tight. 